Now, I must admit, I'm not a golfer who likes to be wrong. Not many of us do, but when I am wrong, I hold my hands up and I say, to be honest, I apologise profusely. Ask my wife, it happens quite a lot. And I owe one of the clubs in this bag an apology because I totally discounted it, especially for its budget price, before I'd even hit it. You see, Nike Golf doesn't have a great reputation when it comes to golf clubs. And when I got sent this golf club in my mystery box challenge from the guys at Golf Clubs for Cash, I was like, guys, you have properly done me over here. I evaded it. I didn't hit it for quite a long time in the video, just purely because it looks hideous. And then I did hit it, and this happened. I've hit that really. That's gone a long way, actually. So then I hit it again, and this happened. I'll tell you what, though, this is probably the best, the worst looking club in the bag, but probably one of the best performing. And then I had to check the price on the shaft, and it's coming in at £38.99. pence. Um, now, I'm not great at maths, but that's less than 40 quid. So just how much can technology have come on since Nike decided they weren't very good at making golf clubs? Just how good can more modern day hybrids be? Because this 18 degree driving iron could actually be someone's work of art. Now, I'm not about to say it's my work of art, but... Um, could be someone's. Yes, you see, when you do the job that I do and you get to review golf clubs, you soon learn that everything is subjective. Beauty is massively in the eye of the beholder and performance might not be right for someone, but could be perfect for someone else. You also learn not to judge a book by its cover because that wasn't a great strike. And to be honest, <laughs> that really isn't a bad position. So much so, I'm going to have to test that again and just hit a few more shots down this gorgeous second hole here at Woolly Park Golf Club. Then we're going to go and test it in some more different locations, some more difficult locations. Guys, while you're here, do me a huge favour. First of all, hit that subscribe button. It's totally free. If you enjoy golf-related videos, then I promise I will deliver one every single day to you. If you want some second-hand golf clubs, check out the link in the description for the guys at Golf Clubs for Cash. And also let me know in the comments what's the best second-hand bargain you've ever had. Because I was about to say, guys, this mystery box challenge, if we're going to just start sending stuff like this, then to be honest, let's nip it in the bud. But then I took my head out of my bum and realised that actually this, uh, look at that go. I mean, that was going a little bit high, but it's still straight down the fairway. I'm not going to lie, the series has massively relit my passion for secondhand golf clubs, for bargain golf clubs, and for the ability to get more people into this game that we all love. Now, more on this Nike CPR hybrid. Yes, it is called the CPR hybrid. I had to double check that myself. And I also tried to get some information on it because uh, this thing isn't that old. Oh, that's even better. That's the best one yet. That was a Tiger Club Twirl, by the way. Nike Golf Club. Somehow, Tiger didn't have this in the bag. Can't think why. But it was a huge lesson for me, to be honest, because I have started to sort of judge a book by its cover a little bit, and I was brought up not to do that, especially when it comes to bargains and to golf equipment. And as you can see, I have quite a few bargains in this golf bag, courtesy of the gentlemen and ladies at Golf Clubs for Cash. So if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button we talked about earlier. I'm gonna go and test this again on some slightly more difficult golf holes and we're going to see how can that go? there we go if it's worth 40 quid with one pound change and a few pennies so as i said i did look for information and technology on this golf club because that's what i really enjoy doing i enjoy reading up on them seeing exactly what the brands do claim just like they do now a lot of it will be marketing but some of it might actually be factual some of it will be technological advances uh, and i couldn't find anything not a thing, not a bean. It's almost like Nike have taken the clubs off the market and they've actually wiped the history with that little men in black thing. Like, nope, never existed. Sorry, can't help you. And realistically there, the first CPR hybrids I saw pictures of, they were massive. They were a lot bigger. Um, looking at these balls, I'm a bit disappointed with that actually, because to be honest, I felt like I hit those two really, really consistently. And there's about 15 yards difference. The other one that I hit is actually up near that bunker. I thought that would have been better. I mean, I, full disclosure, I thought that would be better. The other one's actually here. So realistically there, 
not too bad that was the last one we hit so maybe i just nuked that one quite a lot more than the others but 40 quid like 40 quid because you see i find it really interesting as well just how much more technology can a driving iron slash hybrid possibly have it's quite obvious that this, i've just tried to throw these golf balls down towards that tee and look where they've all gone it, how hard is it to throw golf balls in the same place it's quite obvious that this is designed to be a mega low spin not very forgiving hybrid slash driving iron almost like remember the tailor-made gap r's or gappers or whatever you want to call them very similar to that and i think actually a lot of brands have taken stuff from nike and put elements into their own clubs even quite recently so this is why i think you can get some really good deals and steals to be honest on that second hand market so check out the link in the description for the guys at golf clubs for cash if that's what you want they're the biggest second hand retailer in europe now what i'm looking for here is a low shot then a fade and then a draw because I want versatility from my £38.99 hybrid. I want to make sure it's perfect for that £40. We're into the wind a little bit here, and I actually hit the Nike driver on the mystery box challenge. It massively let me down. I end up making bogey here, and it was kind of the start of the demise for the round. So we've got a post to aim at, as you can see. Can we get close to it, and can we? Right, it's not gone low. We could almost call that the fade. It was a lovely strike. It's up there and it's bang next to that post. It wasn't the low shot. Let's see if I move that back in the stance, if that can help. Now, this club doesn't feel very good. To me personally, subjectively, objectively, it doesn't sound that nice. But then realistically, I don't like pasta. And if you like pasta, you might like this golf club. And that's basically as subjective as something can get. Strange, I know. Don't like pasta, but like lasagna, which has pasta in it. So make of that what you will. But, right, I'm going to try and hit a really low one now. It's so small headed. And I don't know what they were thinking when they put this kind of alignment slash ball width thing on there. Like, is that, is that if you, in case you sky it? Like, I, I don't know. I really don't know what they were thinking. Is it starting to look a little bit better now we're a couple of videos in? Um, no. It does remind me, however, of, remember Tiger Woods PGA Tour, like 2000 and something? This is what all the woods look like, because obviously Tiger Woods was heavily signed with Nike at the time. Right, low stinger. It's a really long shaft length as well, so imagine ball speed wise. Would you like to see me test this against like a Stealth 2 or a Paradigm and see what the differences are? Oh, stop it. Stop it, how much better is that? Now they're bang, I'm hoping they're the same distance because if they are, this club's actually proving to be, yeah, not that forgiving, but realistically, it's not a forgiving golf club. It would never have been a forgiving golf club, even when it was probably 140, 150 pounds brand new back in 2014. It's very nearly 10 years old, this club, which makes me feel really old as well. Right, we've hit a fade, we've hit a draw. Right, we've hit a fade, we've hit a low shot, kind of the wrong way around but we managed to do it in the end let's see if we can get a big nice raking draw just to the left of that post and see if these three balls can go the same distance been struggling with a draw recently actually let's get that path open club face release oh james that was not good i mean i say not good it might have gone further than the others you'll be amazed to see where that's actually finished because it's not finished far off where I kind of wanted it to finish, but the ball flight, it wasn't a draw, was it? Just wasn't. I mean, would you be disappointed if you couldn't hit a draw with your £40 hybrid? Don't get me wrong, £40 is £40. I'm not, I'm not taking the mick here. I think £40 could go and buy you a golf lesson. Would you be better off spending your £40 on a golf lesson or on that? Um, yeah. What about that thing? Do you want a video with that? So distance wise, we have the first two bang next to each other. And then the third one, which was supposed to be a draw, which wasn't a draw, is a little bit further up and it has missed the fairway left. So that's nothing new for me. I'm quite impressed to be honest with that miss hit that was supposed to be the draw. I would never have said that would be the furthest one. And this club's now starting to be a little bit of an anomaly and rather annoy me. It's not as strong a wind as it was the other day if you've watched the Mystery Box Challenge. If you haven't watched it, I'll put the link in the description below along with the golf clubs for cash link. But the driver finished there and we're actually blocked out to a very similar flag. Oh, that's straight so these are all better tee shots than we had from there. Okay, so this is what you have all been waiting for. It's okay just hitting this club off the tee with no real pressure. It can go as far as you want. It can go where you want. You're pretty much always going to be in play with this club. We are now well over 200 yards out into the wind in the fairway, and we have to hit some good shots here. It's 
try and get close to this green on the par four. We're going to take the worst shot and try and save par. So three good shots, and it's going to be nice and easy. Can we even try and make a birdie from the worst ball? We're going to have to get all of this. We can't tee it up. It's into the wind and it's cold. Right, that is an outstanding start. Just hit that two more times. And that actually felt really, really good. Like it's just missed the green to the left, but off the, off the turf, off the fairway, I really quite enjoyed that. What am I doing here? I really quite enjoyed that because I had to hit it a little bit more like an iron, which is potentially how this thing was designed 10 years ago. 10 years ago. Managed to get that to draw randomly as well. Oh, that's the one we don't want. That's going to be... That's gone so far left. Oh dear. That is a, a tight left flag. Oh, that should be the worst one, I think. Right, very consistent ball flights. I dare say they've all missed the green left. Let's get down there and see where they are. Is there off? I don't think I can blame. I'm trying to look for offset, but. I don't think it's that. Anybody else see some offset there? Like a bit, there's a bit. There's a little bit. I mean, I've been hit quite a lot, but there's a bit. So pretty consistent for distance wise. Flag high, flag high, flag high. Unfortunately, that's gonna be the worst one. And that's the flag we're gonna have to try and attack. And to make things even worse, wait. Um, Yeah, these are all we've got in the bag because I've still got them in the bag from the other day so um cheers guys yeah why not i mean to be totally truthful i'm actually quite pleasantly surprised that they're all gone pretty much the right distance come on oh be good that is such a good shot just sit just sit now sit now sit it's a good job it's rained because this morning that would have trundled on i actually quite like these wedges they're very similar to the mizuno's that I've really got on with this year. Is that gonna go in? Oh. <laughs> that would have been the birdie. The chip in means nothing because it wasn't part of the challenge. This, however, is part. That's still got a chance. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you do smash that subscribe button and check out the link in the description below for the guys at Golf Clubs for Cash if you want some secondhand golf clubs. And also let me know in the comments below, what do you think to the £38.99 special? You can get some unbelievable bargains if you do a little bit of research. Thanks for watching. See you all at the same time tomorrow. Goodbye.